Hey, what's up guys? Kircher Tech here. Here with a new video of what's in my camera bag. I uh, thought I'd switch it up because I've been doing a lot of sneaker videos. So here is a camera video. Over the last two years, I've gotten some lenses, some accessories for my Canon 60D. So I thought I'd share with you what I've got, what I shoot with. Uh, I am an amateur photographer. I don't do this professionally. I got my first DSLR when my son was born, right before that, just so I can document and take some nice photos as he grows up, and as well as family get-togethers and other trips we may take. So uh, it's been a fun hobby, and I'm here today just to show you what's in my bag. So, so to start off, I do have the in-case sling bag, which is great material, pretty sturdy bag, pretty simple. Uh, you have some nice padding on the back one sling strap with a nice solid buckle right here. You have an outer compartment. Uh, I keep things such as my battery charger for my DSLR. And then I also have a nice little point and shoot. Take some nice video uh, pocket size, so it's always nice to have. Sometimes my wife just uses it. So I keep that in there as well. But you have a lot of room. And then let's get right into what's inside. When I open it up, here you can see what's inside. There's a couple dividers which you can take out and switch up however you'd like. Uh, to start off, I have my Canon 15 to 85. It's a medium zoom lens. A nice all purpose lens to keep on your camera. Um, it takes nice sharp pictures not as great as uh, I like in low light but if you're worried about that you may just want to step up to an L lens but it does have some great zoom this is a 1585 f 3.5 to 5.6 so that's why it's not as well in low light because that 3.5 but all around great lens it is a little heavy so it, it does add some top weight to your camera if you have it around your neck but solid build uh, this was the second lens I got and this is the most expensive lens it you could probably find it now on Amazon for around five six hundred dollars Canon's always doing rebates as well so uh, I got most of my lenses from Amazon they always have some of the best deals on those and as well as this little cloth case that I usually keep uh, here I'll just get into it my next lens which is on my camera the 50 millimeter f 1.4 so here's my 60d I got that mounted right there this is the bag I usually keep the f 1.4 in when I use my 15 to 85 but I've been using this more frequently uh, it takes great portraits uh, really sharp images, it's a fast lens, it's light, so I've actually been keeping this on uh, probably over the last couple months. I try to shoot as much as I can in manual. I'm still learning, but over the last two years uh, I've, I've been able to understand a little bit more about lighting and uh, shutter speed and all that good stuff. It's just something you, you can do the more practice uh, the better you understand those types of things so overall uh, I really enjoyed the hobby of photography you have the flip flip LCD which is nice for doing things like this video you have your control wheel back here all around a nice camera it holds up pretty well uh, it's even rained on me once uh, it got a little wet, but no signs of any issues. Here's my camera. One thing I, I uh, don't always keep on my bag just because of room is my zoom lens. This is a 70 to 300 lens, so I really only use this when, say, I go to the zoo or to the city, something like that, where this may be useful. It's an all right lens. It takes decent photos. It's a little slow. It's a little noisy, 
Um, but it does have that zoom lock, which I like. Um, decent build quality. Uh, all, all around decent lens. But I haven't really dropped any money on an L lens just because those do go way up in price. So I like just having a little variety as I start off, play around, and you know, if I take my photography to the next level, I may look into an L lens because you are getting way better quality, build and image quality. All around great lens though. Uh, this I also got at Amazon, just a low pro camera lens case. You can just nice and padded, keep that in there. And then here's a, a flash I've actually got around the end of last year. I use this when my family gets together, we're indoors, and say my 15 to 85, uh, I don't like the pop-up flash on this, so this really comes in handy for those low light situations. This gives a nice amount of light. I usually use it on auto, but there are manual settings uh, to control the light and the power of the light. All around, nice little flash. It swivels. You can bounce it off walls. This is the Speedlight 430EX2. This as well got on Amazon. I want to say it's around $200 range, $250, somewhere around there. Maybe even cheaper now. And then it also came with this bag with the light, which is nice. I have this small little lens, the Pancake 40mm 2.8 really really light so when I mount this to the camera you don't even know it's there so this is a nice walk around lens uh, it takes pretty decent photos for the price it's 200 bucks uh, maybe even a little less now but nice little uh, lens just to have in your bag that you can throw on does great video um, not as quick as the 50 millimeter but a lot lighter and almost if you compare the two photos, they're, they're pretty uh, close in terms of quality. And then, here's my last lens in the bag. This is the Rokinon Wide Angle Lens. It is a full manual lens just because the Canon can't read this mount. But it has helped me learn the manual controls as well, which is, which is fun and pretty smooth ring right here for aperture and shutter. But wide angle lens, I've always liked the look of wide angle photos as well as video looks really nice too. It just adds a whole other dimension to your to your your photos and videos. So I like having this in my bag. I'll bust this out once in a while. A little more artsy. But yeah, that's about it. That's in my bag. I do have these little uh, slots up here. You can keep extra SD cards, lens caps. Uh, but I've, I've really liked this bag. Uh, nice padding inside, dividers you can change out. So there's also a zip zipper compartment in here. You can keep an iPad. I think it fits up to, say, an 11 inch MacBook Air. So that was a nice bonus as well. Again, this has been Kurtzer Tech. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support. Let me know what you guys think of these lenses, camera. Let me know what kind of lenses you guys use. Any suggestions, I'm always open for that. Again, uh, thanks for the support. Please thumbs up, comment, subscribe. This has been Kurtzer Tech. I'm going to try to do some more tech videos for you guys. And I, I will be mixing in some sneaker videos as well, just because I've been collecting uh, a little more recently. So, And I, I just keep everything on one channel. But again, until next time, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. Kurtzer Tech, I'm out. Peace.